Hello everyone from Cinematic Cravings. Today we're going to review the Captain America Brave New World trailer, before I get into my thoughts and details. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would be very happy if you would be selfless and take one second to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's get started. After watching the trailer, I lost what little hope I had. You know, this movie has been revised once again. It was shown to some general audiences and testers, and they didn't like it, so they decided to change the movie, revising 60% of it. But even after such extensive changes, the movie still doesn't look like it's fixed. I think this might be the most boring Marvel movie I'll ever see in my life. A trailer is supposed to generate excitement and anticipation for a movie, giving you hope for what's to come. Unfortunately, this trailer destroyed my hopes even more. For example, the teaser and trailer for Deadpool Wolverine made us eagerly look forward to the movie. But with the Captain America Brave New World trailer, what little hope I had was lost. The trailer focused too much on politics. Friends, after all, this is a Marvel movie and an action movie. There were too many unnecessary scenes, one of them being the mustache scene. They cut Harrison Ford's mustache in order not to show Red Hulk with a mustache. It seems that Marvel has not learned from its past mistakes. For example, in that trailer they could have shown a little more action or a Red Hulk scene instead of such a ridiculous scene. I think this movie and TV series merger didn't go as planned. People who haven't seen The Falcon and Winter Soldier won't understand much from this movie. The trailer tells us that the movie will be monotonous. I hope I'm wrong and the movie will be good, but this movie was wrong from the beginning. It was wrong from the beginning by not seeing Captain America as Steve Rogers. The Falcon character didn't fit the role of Captain America in my opinion, and it will complicate things. The first sign of trouble was the repeated revisions. When a film undergoes major changes, it often signals a lack of confidence in the original vision. Revising 60% of the movie is no small feat, and usually indicates fundamental issues with the plot or character development. This, unfortunately, doesn't bode well for the final product. One of the main problems with the trailer is its heavy focus on politics. While some political context is inevitable in a Captain America movie, the trailer seems to overemphasize it at the expense of action and character development. This imbalance makes it difficult to get excited about the film, especially when previous Marvel trailers have struck a better balance between action and narrative. Another baffling decision was the handling of the Red Hulk. The trailer's decision to remove Harrison Ford's mustache digitally is a minor detail, but it reflects a larger problem with prioritizing trivial aspects over more substantial elements like action scenes or character moments. This decision feels like a misstep and detracts from what could have been more compelling footage. Furthermore, the merger of movie and TV series content seems poorly executed. Those who haven't watched The Falcon and Winter Soldier might find themselves lost, as the trailer doesn't do enough to bridge the gap for newcomers. This approach risks alienating a portion of the audience who may not have followed every piece of Marvel content leading up to this film. The decision to replace Steve Rogers with Falcon as Captain America is also contentious. While the idea of passing the mantle is commendable, the execution seems flawed. Falcon, as portrayed in the trailer, doesn't appear to embody the same qualities that made Steve Rogers Captain America so beloved. This misalignment could lead to further complications within the story. In conclusion, the trailer for Captain America Brave New World fails to generate the excitement and anticipation one would expect from a Marvel movie. Its focus on politics, trivial details, and the problematic transition from TV series to film content raises concerns about the movie's overall direction. While there's always hope that the final product will surprise us, the trailer leaves much to be desired and casts doubt on the film's potential success. That's all from me for now, friends. What do you think? Did you like the trailer? What do you think about the movie? Let's talk together in the comments, if you still haven't subscribed to the channel. I would love it if you subscribe to the channel for the continuation of this kind of content, and like the video. See you in the next video.